Okay, so today I'm just showing you my claw machine I made, my homemade claw machine. Um, so, sorry, I just have to tighten this up for a second. And, okay. Okay, so right here it says, um, sorry for a second. <gasps> okay, right here it says, the monster claw, claw. And then it says here, insert 10 cents, but I didn't bring my purse up, but it's okay. It doesn't, it has nothing at the back because I actually forgot to put that there. And this kind of, kind of got bent. So it's just a little bit downwards, but the only manual, um, like manualing thing you have to do is press the claw. That's it. These move by, you use the container, the sticks to like the controls to move it so in here I have some mini squishies they're just easier to grab so we're just gonna I'm just gonna give you a demonstration and I'll show you how I did it and then how I made it so I'll put you here so you kind of like see so trying to get a good angle okay so I didn't make this recently, I made this actually kind of a long time ago. Okay, okay so I'm just kind of fixing the angle. Okay, hope that's okay. I'm still getting used to the angles. Okay, so let's go. Oh wait, it's stuck. Okay, wait, I have to open this. Sorry, okay. Okay. I'm gonna actually hold this so you can see inside. Okay, and the only thing you have to do is like this. You press. Okay, wait, this wasn't down. <laughs> Oh, the only thing you have to do is press the squishy, and then you, this way. Oh, I actually got a squishy down there. <gasps> I just got one, and look, and then this is how you release the claw. You pull this, wait, wrong hand. You just have to kind of jiggle it like this. So I got two squishies. I got this um, ice cream sandwich squishy. And I got this quiet pancake squishy. These are all scented coconut. So I'm going to go for this squishy right now. So I'll just put down this claw properly. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Now, the only thing you have to do is like press it. And if you don't get it, then oh, wait, I'll let this down. If you don't get it, then you don't get it. I'm sorry if you don't get it. Oh my god. Will it, will it, will it? Yay! We got it! Let this down properly. You can just pull that a little bit. We got it! And the reason I have a bunny back there is just because it was kind of wobbling on the bed, so that's a wasted thing. Um, and we got this one. So guys, so that is my claw machine. Now I'm just going to show you the, the mechanism on this machine. So this is how I made it. We'll take that. See, it's kind of doing that. So and this is how I made it. In the back is just this kind. You just need a box, I guess. Like these kind of boxes, they're perfect for the machine. So what you just did is, what I did was I got a piece of cardboard and cut out a place for a hole. And I made sure that you could see it when you were in the window. And then I made a place for the squishies. And of course you put a small bit of squishies back here just to make it look cool. And then I put this thing there just to um, kind of support this. And then 
then all I did then was I cut out a door and it's downwards because that's kind of how they kind of have them. So then the, the mechanism of the claw, which is probably why, what you're all wondering is here I put a hole there and there and I put a string through it and then I pull the string down here and down here hot glue them all to popsicle sticks and then I wrapped it around a small bit I hot glued it and wrapped some around and hot glued it again and then when you twist it this way when it twi when you twist it the way you want to go it pulls it wraps the string around so it's actually pulling this like this and that moves the claw and here as you can see it kind of moves this thing as well see and then when you unwind it it's like you unravel everything and it goes down and this side is the same when you pull it this way it goes there let me just unwind this properly and then when you pull it this way and then the claw itself is made from cardboard and then I just kind of fold it into a claw shape put these things and then when you press the claw it closes like this so yeah that's how I made the claw and I painted it so this is my claw machine if you'd like a tutorial comment down below um thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and comment down below because the question of this video is would you like to make one of th or would you like to know how to make one of these thank you guys for watching bye <laughs> oh and one more thing the piece I cut out here, I put here so it's more sticky-outy than just on this. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.